Hi, Bon. I am Nayana Karnaratna. Today we have a very special guest, Professor L.M. Ketila Karatna. But uh, he said not to introduce him as Professor, to introduce him as Doctor. So, first of all, I am going to ask you why did you say that? I thought you were a Professor. Uh, well, I was a professor for six years at Sri Jayadurpur University. But after leaving the university, I left it there and came because that is the correct way. It is the designation only. After retirement, you cannot use it unless you are an emeritus professor. So all the professors and doctors have earned these titles through sheer hard work and a lot of research. They have spent a lot of time and their knowledge. So I think it's very important that we respect such people and not everyone else who just buys a title. Anyway, thank you very much for the information. So today our topic is about uh, harmful chemicals in cosmetics. So the common problem today is that everybody is talking about this paraben in hair dye. If you can explain what paraben is and how harmful or dangerous that is. It's a very interesting question Nayana because we have been told from the very beginning that every chemical is dangerous. Now this particular chemical paraben is used in biodegradable materials in cosmetics and even in cough syrup some time ago. But later they have found that exceeding 0.4% is dangerous and also prolonged use of the same thing can create problems and uh, especially in the case of uh, skin care treatment you call them cosmetics yeah. if you use parabens you can get swelling you can get burning feeling you can get uh, blisters and also might even cause cancer however FDA administration of America USA and also the European Union still permit the use of paraben in uh, up to 0.4% in cosmetics. So why is it still being used? Is it really necessary to use paraben or? There, is a, there are ways of eliminating the use of parabens. Uh, but if you use non-aqueous, especially not containing milk and uh, eggs, then you are very safe. But uh, if, uh, that is the dry media, whereas the wet, in the wet media you get bacterial uh, degradation creating poisons which can be harmful uh, to you. So you have to be extremely careful when you use hair dyes also containing ammonia. Ammonia is a very dangerous thing. Actually ammonia is not an essential ingredient for a hair dye. In the hair you get layers of proteins. Unless you remove the protein layer, the dye uh, particle yeah, won't get attached to the uh, hair, uh, the, the, the coat. Cortex, yeah. So therefore uh, ammonia is used to dissolve that layer. The same thing happens if you use ammonia to your skin because your skin also made out of purely out of protein. So, so what did you say about egg and milk that is uh, for the cosmetics they should not be added? Nowadays in all the cosmetics they advertise uh, in papers they say they contain uh, so much of eggs, so much of milk, so much of fruit juice, so much of fruit essences. But uh, there is a limit for all of them. Now I have seen that for papaya, what is recommended in the uh, internet is ripe papaya, chopped ripe papaya can be applied on the face, keep it for 10 minutes and wash it off. Whereas there are people in Sri Lanka and in other countries also use the thing called papain. Papain is a latex of papaya, dried and in the form of uh, uh, granules. That one is very harmful even if you touch it with your fingers with wet hand, you get burns. And because it can straight away dissolve your uh, not the tender skin, even the uh, thick skin in your palm. So therefore, uh, if you use them without following the recommendations given in uh, SLSI 457 standard, then you can uh, meet with various problems and might even uh, die. It is that strong, that's dangerous. Yes, yes. My one uh, a very prominent minister of the country died of hair dye poisoning and also one famous singer. Yes. She died uh, while she was in USA. There was no time even in USA for her to, uh, to treat her to uh, get her back to this world. Okay, what's your opinion about uh, mercury? People say because now today there's a big problem with skin whitening creams. Everybody's using it. I think it's very wrong. It's, uh, it's very unnatural. And they say the mercury content is the problem. What, what's your... What? Not only mercury, any heavy metal for that matter is very dangerous. Mercury, lead, cadmium, all the six, more than that, more than cadmium, the heavy metals are not permitted in any of these things. Now, 
but there are ways of eliminating. For example, I have seen that even bee sunny, natural thing like bee sunny, mm -hmm. which can which can remove the dead uh, cells from the skin mm -hmm. and um, give you a slightly white appearance, mm -hmm. and a little camouflage. Yeah, but uh, that that's that's. That's natural color, but a lot of people are trying to be very fair and they want to destroy all the melanin and that's, that's, not, that's so unnatural, isn't it? If that is the way, that is very unfair because they are doing a big harm for themselves. Best is to go for natural things as much as possible. So what's the good news you can give us? Now, now uh, we know so many natural products are good for skin care. People anyway want to look nice. They want to be fairer, not not unnaturally, but get it their natural color. And of course, anti-aging is a huge problem. So if you can give us two or three uh, natural products that are suitable for skin treatments. Uh, natural products, among the natural products I have come across, aloe vera is a very good uh, example. Aloe vera. Then similarly, uh, in beetle leaves, you get an, uh, when you extract beetle leaves, you get an antioxidant which is the best I have so far found. Unfortunately, I have not seen anybody using it in creams in this country. But is it, is it also, very, isn't it very strong? It is strong, but you can dilute it and take it to the, the, the permissible level. So aloe vera is good as external or to take it internally as well? Internally also, I know a lot of people having this gastric problem, they even follow. The aloe vera. Aloe vera. Yeah. The gel. The gel, no? the, the gel yes. Mm -hmm. So similarly all right, but only thing is on on the skin there is a uh, latex or a juice which is very bitter in there. Mm -hmm. So because of that it is not easy to do it. But there are a lot of people that are eating aloe vera in salads also. But what about uh comb, the meal they call it? What the is that? Name is one of the best found so far. In India it's a very big industry. They call neem products. There are companies producing only neem products as pesticide, insecticide, uh, antioxidants uh, and various other uh, ways. Uh, all, the, uh, all the products from the neem tree including the, uh, the seed, the fruit uh, pericarp, then the leaves, everything has some kind of protective action for something and therefore it's a very safe thing and you don't have to take any precautions as far as you use neem product, but only the neem you must know that it is one of the most bitter things we have yes, proposed. Yes, but it's also very very commonly grown here. Yes. It's available in plenty actually. Yes. We are not using that. Yes. Properly. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, I think we got lots of information about uh, the harmful chemicals, also some good news about the uh, suitable chemicals. Uh, the time is very suitable. Need is also uh, at the moment very high for us to turn to local products and also to use safe skin care uh, products and uh, to maintain your beauty. So thank you very much for being here, coming for this program, because the purpose is to educate the people to do the right thing. So thank you again for being here.